Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the uh, new stretch tool, which I've just completed. And I just popped out this here toolbar, the Medique Walls tools, um, that includes um, some of these uh, features. Um, we recently also did the split wall tool, which I demonstrated in a previous video. I'm currently working on the join wall tool, which will be probably released in the next week. And then the one today we'll be talking about is the stretch wall tool, this icon right here. So let's go ahead and put that back. And um, so similar to the, the split wall tool, the stretch wall tool is um, used to manipulate walls once they're created. Very simple tool. Um, to begin with, you just go ahead and click the icon. And then as you mouse over each wall panel, you'll see that it highlights. And to select it, just click the wall panel in question. And then as soon as you select it, you'll notice that there is a green and a red circle at the start and the end of, e of the wall panel that you've selected. So basically all you got to do is select somewhere near that uh, circle to select which end of the wall that you want to modify. So let's go ahead and just do the end here to start with. And then as soon as you do that, you'll notice this kind of uh, uh, <clears throat> plane, I guess, that's created purple plane and this shows you whether you're stretching or shrinking the wall so you can do either and it will show you relative the dimension relative to the current end or start of the wall how much you're going to shrink or, or uh, stretch that wall so let's go ahead and just stretch this out three feet okay and that's pretty much it I mean and I also turned off the gypsum layer just to show you guys um, you know what's happening with that wall so let's go ahead and uh, shrink it and select that end of the wall and then we're going to bump this back let's say uh, four feet here and you can see that it adjusts accordingly so really very simple uh, little tool but quite useful in many respects um, <clears throat> so uh, there is one thing that needs to be uh, made clear um, so when you go ahead and you edit this end of the wall what happens is, is it does not modify or can keep, you know, modify this connection. In other words, push this wall with it. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. So if I were to select the start of this wall and then bump this back, say, two feet, you'll notice that it moved this wall back or store, basically shrunk it, but did not uh, alter the position of this connecting wall. Um, and this is kind of by design. I'm, I'm making this tool so that it doesn't really affect other walls. It's, it's basically designed to, if you need to modify the position of a single wall and only that wall. Um, and usually that's for corrective reasons. Maybe you misaligned the position of this corner and didn't quite line up with that corner. Um, and so, you know, you can move that into position. So for instance, let's say, you know, this wall was originally built like this and then we wanted to get this corner over two feet. Well, then, or into position, just reposition my mouse here okay so now now that is all lined up so you ask well okay let's say I do want to shrink this wall but I do I don't want I you know I want it to stay connected so for that you know you would just essentially use the move tool which would move this wall back or forward and it would keep these corners or these adjacent walls connected and push them back and forth okay so that's if you need to do that and you keep things connected, then you can do that with the, the move tool. All right. So typically where you would use, like I said, where we'd use the shrink and stretch tool is if you've got an end where you've got to adjust it or you've got to make a corrective action or something of that nature. So let's go here. For instance, we want to move the end of this wall. And it's not saying you can't move that corner. It's just that it won't, it won't um, translate the rest or move the other adjacent walls. So let's go ahead and let's let's say we want to push this wall back uh, three feet. Okay, so that wall's back three feet. Of course, that's not connected, but you know that's that's perfectly fine. <clears throat> I'm going to do something here. I'm going to delete these two openings just to get them out of the way, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the move wall tool, and I'm going to push this back three feet to reconnect it, and I'll show you what happens. So if we go like this and we push this back three feet, okay. So now you see that spec, it's, it's in the right position to be connected. So essentially, when you get it in the right position, um, the wall plugin essentially reconnects that corner, okay? It, 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 
basically there never is really a connection or unconnection. It's just as long as the walls ends are in the right position, then when you use this move wall tool, it will treat it will automatically recognize you know that that is connected so if I push this out now four feet see it takes that wall back with it and it, of course stretches this one back out so <clears throat> I guess the, the point is is you can always reconnect disconnect and reconnect the ends of walls simply by making sure they're in the right position so you know so in other words if I just took the native tools and I move this wall out here somewhere and then I move it back into position, it's essentially reconnected. So it's disconnected now. This this wall, the plugin recognizes that this wall is no longer connected to this wall. But if I were to push this wall back and make it, you know, get in the right position to be connected, then it would next time it would recognize that this is connected with this. So it's all about positioning really. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so let's see, we move this, this like this. So now let's go ahead and use the stretch tool and we're going to grab that end and we're going to push it seven feet. Okay. And now we're going to use the move tool and we're going to just push this back. Oh, well, let's push it out this way for instance, two feet out. Okay. And you can see that it, it, you know, it recognized that it's connected again. So anyways, long story short, um, the stretch tool is just another little convenient tool for for stretching the wall length um, or shrinking it and you know you can always update a wall simply by just um, going in edit the wall some and you can also adjust the length uh, right here as well so right now it's a 30 foot wall so let's say we want a 32 foot wall okay so it bumped it out two more feet this way but the difference is is with the with adjusting the wall length it keeps the origin or the start of the wall in the place that it originally was and just pushes the wall length out uh, to the right. Whereas with the stretch tool, um, if you adjust the start, you can adjust the start point as well as the end point of the wall. So it gives you that added flexibility. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it for the uh, stretch uh, tool. It actually technically should be the stretch and shrink tool, but it can do both. Uh, if you have any questions on it or want to see additional changes or features added to it, just let me know. Always uh, appreciate your guys' support, and we will talk to you again later. Thank you.